before we used to talk about collaboration, the idea was we would get a bunch of people, get a bunch of data, get a bunch of tools, and move to a location and do something, even if that location was virtual. But what's happened now in both the data arena and the application arena is that they don't move anymore. You see, collaboration's changed. The data now cons is, or constitutes that point, that anchor point, to which people move around through different ways of looking at it. And if we now look at the applications that are more available, whether that's cloud-based applications, subscription-based applications, um, easily downloadable or, or, um, um, or cloud interface even applications, um, it's there waiting for me, as is the data now, because I can do it, whether it's through a hybrid cloud, a, a public cloud, um, through uh, any kind of means that I can, I can now house it and, and provide it. I'm moving around, I'm moving people around now to get into that hub of data and application. So um, they're more quickly looking at different forms of information and data. If the tools have changed as well, they've changed in the scope of which they look at things. We used to spend inordinate amounts of time data schlepping, right? getting it in the right formats and collecting it and um, you know, uh, worrying about its security and a bunch of other things. Now so much has been done to manage the schlepping part for us. That pre-massage, that get it so you can even look at it, and I'm not even talking about Hadoop, but just getting it there so that I can view it happens so much more quickly. Um, our access to it so much faster. Um, has that accelerated it? Yes, but then if we look back in defense of IT, if you will, um, it's the reason we must embrace it because you can't stop it now, right? I, I laugh when I talk about demand by saying that, you know, we can hear the hooves but we can't see the herd. Um, it's definitely happening and with these tools and access to that data, it's going to happen. So allow them to do that. I hear people talk about governance and how we must apply governance and controls over these things. Well, to some degree, yes, but innovation in and of itself is fundamentally a little chaotic. Allow that self-service piece to occur, that chaos to exist, and innovation will come as a part of it. And if you work as a community to take a look at what's happening, participating with them, then you mine it for those wonderful little things that are found that could be game changers. You elevate those up through into that enterprise side of the system, and you're, and you're really sort of taking or you're harvesting what's being able to be found there. Um, yes, the tools help, and yes, the data helps, but um, and I, I'm afraid at times that we're going to try to over-constrain.